What's going on YouTube? Here I have the 511 Flex Admin Pouch. I wanna show you why I like it and what gear I put inside there and a general overview of this pouch. So I'll tell you the dimensions here. It's about six and a half by four and a half. And it looks to be a little over two inches, maybe around two inches. So, <clears throat> And here, I'll give you the weight of my current setup in case you are wondering. I know sometimes it looks like it could be a lot of weight. And this is at pretty much one pound, four ounces. I didn't think it was going to come in. I thought it was going to be around a pound. So up first here, I have an outdoor edge sidewinder. It has a flat head and a Phillips or part of a Phillips. You can see it's flat on one side. And this is just for cutting boxes open or little things in that nature. So this pouch has the laser cut mole system. <clears throat> I've, I'm not too familiar with it, but I do like it. Here on the back, you can adjust. So I adjusted it from, for my belt. I came in here and that's about the width of my belt. So cool little system. You can take these off if you don't want to, or you can connect it with a uh, different regular mole. Uh, they're 511's hex. You can connect it to that. So it's, mul it's universal, So which is a cool thing. So in here's some Velcro with the laser cut in it. I'll go ahead and take off the pouches for you, just so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. So not too bad, and it looks good. And I kind of like this here. You could slide a pen in it. You can attach it to a bag or attack it, attach, attach it to a bag on this side. Or maybe this is a medical kit, and you can put a tourniquet in here or attach it to the outside. So that's cool. So... Here, here's what it looks like. So it kind of has these bands to keep this side from falling down. I believe this is where you would keep your cell phone if you put a cell phone in here. It does have a pocket on this back side, which I put a notepad in there. This is about 33 cents from Walmart, so cheap enough. And I'll get into the tools here. So up first I have a pry bar. I work construction, so I'm prying stuff all the time. This is off Amazon as a bottle opener, a nail puller. So I don't know why people buy pry bars without a nail puller. I don't know what they're prying, but I like the ergonomics of this thing. Fits good in the hand, good looking. You can put a lanyard on here if you would like. Here I just have a basic pen nothing special here i have a five dollar stanley screwdriver it's two-sided so here's the smaller side and it also has a small flat head on the back <clears throat> this is a one one eighth drive this is made out of plastic not the most durable but it's cheap and it's compact and here I have a bigger flathead and a bigger Phillips. And you could put this on the back if you'd like, or you can take everything off and just use it like this. So that's pretty cool. Up next, I have a Gerber dime. These are pretty cool and pretty small. So I'll show you the dimensions of this. So about two and three quarter inches and it has a lot of cool features so here's a needle nose pliers it has wire cutters pliers and it also has <clears throat> a knife it's a pretty small blade i think it's about an inch and a half uh, this is fairly new, so everything's pretty hard to get out. I'll go ahead and close this so I don't cut myself. Here is a box opener. I thought this was a cool feature. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but we'll see. Here is 
a flathead, a file plus a pointed flathead, I would assume. And here are some scissors. They work okay, pretty small, but they can cut paper, zip ties. So this is why I keep it in there. It has pliers, scissors, and it's very small and lightweight. And I would say it's worth the money. It's about $20 or so. And that thing would be pretty nice to put on your keychain if you like keychain stuff. Here's a pair of Nipex Cobra SX. These things work great. Pretty small, so you are limited to room when you actually turn bolts. You maybe only get two fingers and part of your hand in there. But overall, great pair of pliers. You know, I didn't think I would like them as much as I did, especially for the price point. They're about $38.00 took forever to ship because they did come from Germany on Amazon. I didn't see them at Menards or anything. Here I have a Milwaukee two and a half inch blade knife. You know, I like this because one, it's, I got it for $52. I can beat up on it and not worry. I don't want to spend $200 on a knife and be scared to use it because of the price. Great little action. I do enjoy that stonewashed finish on one side. I do wish it was on both. But, and this also has D2 steel. So very nice looking knife. And last I have a Streamlight Micro Stream flashlight. It's rechargeable. It also has an indicator when it's charging or fully charged. The battery life's about a hour and a half on high and three hours on low. I'll go ahead and show you it. So it looks pretty good. It has a belt clip, hat clip, and overall a small good flashlight for $30. So this is what the pouch looks like. It has three flexible spots there. I could easily put that notepad right here or some other tool. I feel like um, I can only fit one more thing that's maybe a cell phone or another notepad in here. And it has two more pockets on the back. But overall, great little pouch. You know, if your pants are big enough and you don't wear skinny jeans, you could easily fit this in your back pocket or front pocket. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.